Hi Amy, I just wanted to touch base with you here on our progress for our categories. If we would go to projects now, instead of that having to be a blank link, which is not very good for search engine optimization, I changed it around, I made an actual page called projects, and you can see that you have your little icons here to your categories. Um, the first one is crafting, we still have the, the old way, where you're going to a category here, and then it's going to, cr to crafting, showing you that this is a category. Now, to, to make this like we have it in projects here, you'd have to make a, uh, a page and call it crafting, and I just figured I would walk you through it here. And so we would go to pages and click add new. Now, you can add a post and do it the same way, add a post too, but I didn't want to make another post for you so that it would be broadcasted to your users. But So we will call this page crafting, just like this. Okay, and then <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to open up another page, and then th then that way you could see how I did this on um, your uh, uh, your your projects page. So you go down, scroll down here to the projects page. Uh, let's see here, projects. Okay, now now I'm going to click edit here, so I can show you the shortcut. So you can always see where to get the shortcut. See, you say category thumbnail list four. So we click copy here and we go back to our add new page we would just paste make sure you're in text view and paste this plain text in there and then you see that you have that little short code in there now the thing is let's say that you wanted uh, a, a different category so what we do is we go to post and I'm going to open this in a new window I'm going to hold my control button down and click categories and we're looking for the crafting one so if we highlight over crafting if you notice down here you'll see I'm in Google Chrome whenever I highlight whenever I highlight over crafting you'll see a little number and see the ID equals 4 and if I go down to the next one the ID will equal 22 so that's $5 crafts so that's the number that you need for 22 if we go to holiday crafts you see the ID number down here is 10 and so <clears throat> so for crafting we can see that the ID number is four there, and so that's what we want to put in uh, in this particular new page, which we're calling crafting, and you can see that it already is four. Okay, then you would click publish. Okay, now you have custom menu structure here. So what we do is we go down to appearance and menus, and we see that we have crafting added here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Add to this to the menu. Okay. And we'll see we have crafting as a page. We're going to drag it up. And we're going to replace that other sub item that you had there. See, this is a page. This is a category. So we're going to remove this. Okay. And click Save Menu. Now we're going to go back to your website here. Okay, and I'm going to click refresh. And we're in projects. Now, if I select crafting, now you'll see that we get all these icons. Now, we'll repeat that same one for decorating. So, we go to decorating here. We see that it's, it's a category with your post list just like it is before. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to click uh, pages, add new. And let me see, the page that we want to add is decorating. So, DECK. Okay, decorating. And now we want to make sure we're in text. We want to paste this plain text to category thumbnail list. Now, we don't know what category it is yet. So, we're going to go to post categories and open it in a new tab. And we want to scroll down to where it says decorating. Okay, so we might have to page through here. Oh, I must have missed it. Let's go back to page one. Now, the other thing we could do, we could always uh, search here, DEC, and click search categories with the DEC. So I'm going to highlight over categories. I'm going to wait. I see its uh, ID number is five. Okay. So then I'm going to go back to where I was adding the new page, and the category thumbnail list is going to be five now. I'm going to click Publish. Okay. 
Now I'm going to go down to appearance. Whenever it uh, gets done, it looks like it's still working here. Okay. Now it's done. So appearance, menus. Now we see we have decorating listed here. So we're going to add that to the menu. I'm going to replace this one over here. So we're going to pull this up. Project right where decorating is. We're going to put this one right there. We're going to take this one out. Remove. Click Save Menu. Now I'm going to do the rest off the video, but I just wanted to show you this video to see to show you how it's done. So if we go here and we click Refresh the page, we're still going to have the category decorating, but now we got the page decorating. So when we click on it, we should be able to see. Yes, we have all our. Uh, uh, thumbnails for that category and decorating in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the the other two here, but in the future if you ever want to add more of these little cool thumbnails for your categories, you'll know how to do it. Thanks.